If you love buffalo chicken wings or buffalo chicken pizza, then friends, you are not going to want to miss this video. Hey friends, it's Kelly and welcome back to Mama Needs a Gold. Thank you so much for joining me today. And if you're new here, welcome, welcome. So friends, today I am making a buffalo chicken grilled cheese. Yep, that's what I said, a buffalo chicken grilled cheese. I absolutely love buffalo wings. Buffalo chicken pizza is one of my all-time favorites, so we are also gonna go ahead and do a grilled cheese version of it. So let me stop talking, we'll go over all the ingredients real quick, and then we'll get started. All right, my friends, we're gonna start right here. I have the Italian bread that I used to make my cheesesteak um, grilled cheeses. I mentioned in that video that this came pre-sliced, and I would slice it a little bit thicker, but you don't have to use this bread. You can use any kind you want. Back there I have some Mexican cheese. I have about seven and a half ounces or so of chicken. I'm gonna be making two sandwiches. I have some Frank's Red Hot Wing Sauce. I have some whipped cream cheese and I also have some blue cheese. I have four slices of bacon. I have some chopped up scallions. Mine were really, really tiny, so I used like six scallions, but if you have two nice size ones, that's all you're gonna need. And then I chopped up very fine a stalk of celery. And friends, that is all the ingredients. Oh, and other than butter, obviously I keep forgetting to pull the butter out for some reason, where we'll butter our bread. So that's it, let's go ahead and start mixing up the uh, cream cheese and the blue cheese. So friends, as you saw, not a lot of ingredients. So let's go ahead, mix up some of the ingredients and then we'll head to the stove and get this put together. All right, my friends, I have myself a bowl here. I have my cream cheese. I like using the spreadable kind. I just find it easier to work with. I am just putting in about two ounces of cream cheese. And then I'm gonna put in about a third cup of blue cheese. And then I'm just going to add a tiny bit of my Mexican cheese, just like that. And then we're going to add in our green onion and our celery. Okay, and we're just going to go ahead and mix this up really well. Whoops, flying it out. We're just creating like a little spread here that we can spread out on our bread, just like that. Okay. Now let's get our chicken and add a little bit of um, wing sauce. All right, my friends, I'm gonna shake up our wing sauce real quick. I've got one tablespoon. And friends, you can add whatever you want to this. If you want it hotter, milder, you can add as much as you want. And one more. Okay. And we're just going to mix that up and get the chicken coated really well. Mmm, smelling good already, my friends. Smelling good. All right, now let's head over to the stove and put this together. All right, my friends, I have some butter in my pan. I'm going to go ahead and melt that. I already went ahead and put some butter on my bread. So we're going to melt this real quick and then get our... Grilled cheese sandwich started. All right, my friends, we're gonna go ahead and put our bread down, the buttered side down. And then we're gonna put some spread on here. Like that. And we're gonna go ahead and spread that out. My bread is breaking. <laughs> you wanna keep it low for right now? We don't wanna get that burned while we're putting our sandwich together. And you could do this beforehand if you want, off the pan, that's okay. Just a little hard when you have that butter side. Okay, and I'm 
going to add just a little bit of the Mexican cheese on top. Just like that. Now I have two pieces of bacon, or four pieces of bacon total. We're going to put one on each piece like that. Then we're going to spoon some chicken right on top like that. Just like that. Come on, stay on there. All right, and then I'm gonna add just a tad bit more chicken on top, oh, chicken, um, cheese on top. Just like that, and then we're gonna top it off with our bacon. Just like that. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put the last of the cheese spread on these two slices okay I have not buttered this yet I'll do that once I get the top one th this on top okay just like that all right my friends and we're gonna put the top one like that and then we're gonna go ahead and butter it Alrighty, and we're going to let this cook for about three minutes or so on this side. I'm going to turn the heat up just a tiny bit and let it go for about three minutes. Then we're going to flip and let it go for about two minutes or so. Alright, my friends, it's been four minutes, so we're going to go ahead and do a little flipsie here. Look at that. Ooh. Just push all that that fell out right in there. Oh, so delicious. And sm oh, the smell, friends. I wish you could smell this. Just shoving that right back in there. And then we're going to go ahead and flip this one as well. Alright, we're going to let it go for a few more minutes. And then we'll take it out and do our taste test. Alright, my friends. We're going to go ahead and take this out. Put it right on our plate here. These are really hard because I'm using this flexible spatula. Alrighty, let's cool for a minute and then we'll do our taste test. Alright my friends, let's cut one of these in half. Do a little taste test. Let's see the goodness inside. Ooh, oh my goodness friends, look at that. Oh, look at that. Does that look delicious or what? Oh my goodness. All right, let's do a quick taste test. All right, my friends, here we go. We are about to get a major storm. It's thundering. All right, let's go ahead and do a quick taste test. Mmm. Mmm. Friends. Of all the grilled cheese sandwiches that I've made so far, I think this is my best one. I really, really like this. I love, love, love this a ton. I think this is my favorite one so far. I'm glad I made two because I'm going to take one to lunch and have one for breakfast. <laughs> So friends, that'll do it for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget, hit that little subscribe button as it does greatly help me out. And also, don't forget, check me out over on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, Twitter, and TikTok as I am active on all those social media sites as well. So friends, thanks so much, and I'll catch up with you next time. Bye.